All right, this is my second time recording this because uh, I kind of had the face cam in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. I, I finished, I got all the way to the finals, and then I realized that my face cam was in the bottom left, blocking the bracket. Why couldn't they just have the, a normal bracket? Eh, whatever the case. We're recording this again, baby. So I'm going to probably go even quicker this time because I was pretty rapid fire last time. Round one, Thunders. Uh, actually, let me check real quick. So it looks like it is going to be the Thunder and the Pelicans. Pelicans are up 14 with a minute and a half left. So it's going to be Thunder Pelicans. The Thunder are going to win five games. Pelicans most likely won't even have Zion for this series, I believe, because I think it's like a hamstring injury or something. And those tend to, as Chris Paul, it takes a while. So I do think the Thunder are going to take easy work of the Pelicans. Um, the Pelicans for the 8th seed last year, they faced the Nuggets. Not, no, I'm sorry, they were... Did the Pelicans even make the playoffs? The Pelicans even make the playoffs last year. I don't know what I'm talking about. But the Thunder are going to win in five. There's not much to say in this series. The Thunder are the better team. Next series is the Clippers and the Mavericks. Probably the most anticipated series of these playoffs. Luka versus his children in the Clippers. Although the Mavericks ended off the season as the hottest team in the league. And the Clippers cooled off. I do have the Clippers winning this series in seven games. Uh, they just have everything to throw at the Mavericks. You have the two best perimeter defenders possibly of all time in Kawhi and Paul George. Not one and two, but you know what I mean. Uh, to throw at Kyrie and Luka. So they're going to try and lock those two down and have everyone else try and beat them. Gafford ain't going 12-12 every night. It's just not happening. T uh, Tim Hardaway Jr., he ain't going to be shooting 50% from three. It's just not going to happen. They're going to force the role players of the Mavericks to play like it. So I do think the Clippers end up winning that series in seven. And for the last two series, the Timberwolves Suns, a lot of people got the Timberwolves losing this series. I don't. I got them in six games. The Suns are not deep enough. They don't really play much defense. And they rely too heavily on KD and Book. The Timberwolves have the bodies to throw at KD and Book. They're Bradley Beal can, yeah, Bradley Beal can win you a few games, but I just don't see it. I don't see it. They're going to throw McDaniels at KD. They're going to throw Mike Conley at D-Book, most likely. They're going to throw Ant at Beal. Who, who's going to guard Ant on the Suns? Grayson Allen? Who's going to guard Cat on the Suns? Yusuf Nurkic? It's just not going to work out. I do not see a world where the Suns win this series. I'm sorry. This Suns team is not good. I They're just not good in my eyes. I... I don't know what it is. They're not deep. They, they rely. It's one. It's a Brooklyn Nets situation all over again, essentially. There's just too much star power, not enough role players. So I do think the Timberwolves end up winning this series in six. And for the Nuggets, Lakers, I got the Nuggets in five games. Uh, the LeBron's not going to get swept again. But some people are saying the Lakers might win the series. If it does go to seven, I do think the Lakers can win. But they're not beating the Nuggets. They're the reigning champions for the reason. For a reason. They have the possible three-time or two-time MVP in Nikola Jokic. No one, AD got cooked by Jokic last year. He's going to do it again. Nothing is going to change. It's the same Lakers team from last year. It's the same Nuggets team from last year. Why would this be any different? That's why I don't... Why would this be any different than last year? These teams are nearly identical besides Bruce Brown. So... I don't understand why it would be any different. So I got the Nuggets in five games. That leads us with round two. Thunder, Clippers. I do got the Clippers in six games. A lot of Thunder fans are upset that they don't have their team going to the finals in a lot of these predictions. It's because they're, they're too young. They're too inexperienced. I know Thunder fans hate to hear that, but it's true. You don't have enough experience compared to a team like the Clippers. Even compared to a team like the Mavericks. You don't have enough experience. Don't worry, you'll probably be the one seed again next season, and you'll probably have a lottery pick because you have all of the draft picks. But I don't see a world where the Thunder win this series. Um, the Clippers are going to throw Kawhi on Shea, they'll throw Paul George on Shea, and the Clippers have too much firepower. If Kawhi Leonard's not having a good game, Paul George might have a good game. If Paul George isn't having a good game, maybe James Harden's having a good game. If all three of them somehow are not playing well, Westbrook might be getting buckets. They just have too many possible number one options on that team. I know it might be laughable saying Westbrook as a number one, but he showed last year, um, in round one against the Suns, he could he can still get you buckets and still when you he won the Clippers, I think maybe two games in that series against the Suns. The two games the Clippers won in that series were because of Westbrook. 
In game one against the Suns, he got the game-winning block on um, D-Book. And then I think the other game they won, I don't know if he had a triple-double or what. I know he had a 30-point game and a loss. But don't sleep on Westbrook as a sixth man. So I had the Clippers winning that game, uh, that series in six. And then the Timberwolves, Nuggets, I got the Nuggets winning this series in five. Once again, this goes back to the Lakers Nuggets um, series. These two teams are exactly the same from last year, just about. So I don't see really any difference. I don't, besides playoff experience, and the Nuggets just came off of a championship. I don't see any difference. The Timberwolves, Gobert is not guarding Jokic. Cat ain't guarding Jokic. Mike Conley ain't guarding Jokic. No one's guarding Jokic. Jamal Murray, they got the defenders to throw at Jamal Murray. They might even throw McDaniels on Jokic, trying to do what the Heat did um, in the finals, throwing small defenders on Jokic. And it did work at times, but it uh, it's not going to work the entire game. It worked at times, not the entire game. I don't think the Timberwolves are going to really hold a candle to the Nuggets. And that leads us to the Western Conference Finals, Clippers, Nuggets. I do got the Nuggets winning this series in seven games, possibly six. But I'm going to go seven. These two teams match up really well. But once again, it comes down to who is guarding Jokic. Zubac is not guarding Jokic. They're going to try and do the small ball. They might throw Kawhi on Jokic a few times. But I don't think the Clippers, I think they're going to run out of gas here at this point. Um, we already know how Paul George, Westbrook, and Harden do in the playoffs. Harden actually played fairly well. He didn't play good in Game 7 against the Celtics, but last year he kept the Sixers in that series against Boston. And if it wasn't for Doc Rivers, and if it wasn't for Harden and Embiid choking, the Sixers had a 3-2 lead. They win that series in 6, but they just choked. But Harden kind of kept them afloat in that series to begin with, had, having two 40-point games. But I do think this is where the Clippers run out of gas. Kawhi, I think Kawhi... Hopefully he's healthy for these playoffs, but I think Paul George is going to kind of get steady. Westbrook's not going to play well, and I just have the Nuggets. They're the better team. I have them winning in seven. And that brings us to the East. The Heat just blew out. Well, not just, but tonight blew out the Cel not the Celtics. The Bulls in the playing game. They're not going to have Jimmy for this series. They're the eighth seed once again. I don't. I, sadly, I don't see another run in their future. I didn't even see a run last year, but we went on one. Um, but I do have the Celtics winning this in six games. Most people are going to say five games or a sweep. I don't think that for some reason the top seeds always somehow give up like two games. The Celtics did it last year to the Hawks. They lost two games when they really shouldn't have. I do see the Heat somehow taking two. Um, honestly, I see them taking two on the road. I don't think they're going to get any games at home because the Heat play bad at home. So I have the Celtics winning the series in six. Jimmy Butler will be out this entire series. If we were to somehow win this series, he would be back for round two. But I don't think Hero and Bam are enough. If we have Rozier, I think for game one, Rozier might play. He should play because he's been out for a while now. I think the Heat can I think the Heat can give the Celtics a little trouble, but that could just be the Heat bias talking. I do have the Celtics winning this series. That leads us to the Cavs magic. I have the Cavaliers in six games. I was going to go seven. This is that series that everyone kind of just doesn't care about. It's the Orlando Magic and Cleveland Cavaliers. The Cavaliers lost their last game on purpose to get this matchup. So if they lose this matchup somehow, oh dear God. Um, Donovan Mitchell, that's going to be the one guy everyone's going to keep an eye on. Because if the Cavaliers lose this series, Donovan Mitchell will not be a member of that team next season. I can almost guarantee it, whether it's a free agent or it's a, a trade. He will not be on the Cleveland Cavaliers next season. I honestly, I don't think he's going to be there regardless next season, but this is one of those series that I think can go either way. I think the Magic can win in five, six, or seven. I think the Cavs can win in five, six, or seven, but I just have the Cavs having the upper edge on a very, very unexperienced uh, Orlando Magic team. That leads us to one of the most anticipated matchups of the playoffs. Bucks, Pacers, these two teams have history this season. They played like six times this season. The Pacers got the best of them more, more times than not. They beat them in the in-season tournament. And I do think the Bucks are going to win this in six games. Uh, the Pacers have a very, very good shot. I just think the inexperience of Hal Burton. I just think Dame, Giannis, when he comes back, he's not going to be playing game one, I don't think. I think it's going to be too much for the Pacers. The Pacers, This Pacers seems pretty damn good making that Siakam trade. Hal Burton hasn't been the same since he's got hurt. He kind of, he doesn't feel the same. He averaged 17-9. and nine. 
after his injury, after averaging essentially 20 and 12, I don't think the Bucks lose this series. They might, because they're one of the worst defense in the league, but the Pacers are worse, but the Pacers are also the number two offense in the league. So I think they can expose the Bucks, but I do have the Bucks winning in six. That leads us to Knicks Sixers. Uh, the Knicks win in this series in six games. Once again, a lot of people, a lot of analysts think the Sixers can not only win this series, but could win it very easily in like five, six games. I don't think that whatsoever. They got they got no one to throw at Jalen Brunson. Kyle Lowry is probably going to be the main defender on Brunson. And don't get me wrong, Kyle Lowry at 37 years old is still actually a really good defender. Surprisingly, he's a pesky defender that's going to get into passing lanes, going to strip you of the ball. But I don't think he's going to slow down Brunson. OG is going to get the Tyrese Maxey assignment most likely. Steven chenzel has been on a heater. They're going to throw Mitchell Robinson. They're going to throw Hartenstein at Embiid to be physical with them, force him to put the ball on the ground. And I really just don't think the, um, the Sixers have enough to beat this Knicks team. Um, Batum is not going to give you 20 points on six threes. I promise you that. That leads us to Celtics Cavs. I got the Celtics in six games once again. They just have more. There's not really any way to analyze the series when it comes to the Celtics. They have more. It's simple as that. They have the matchups to face anyone. They, they're going to have Drew Holiday be the primary guy on Mitchell. They have Derek White to guard um, Garland. They have Porzingis to throw at Allen or Mobley. They got Al Horford to throw at one of those two if they want to run that big lineup. Even Tatum can hold his own. They, I just don't see a world where the Celtics lose this series. So that leads us to Bucks knicks I do have the Knicks winning this in seven games. Um, I don't think, I think Brunson averages like 35 this series. Like no one's stopping him. Who's going to be the primary defender on them? Yeah, I can't even think of one right now off the top of my head that can just go one-on-one -on -one with Brunson. I know it's not a one-on-one -on -one game. They're going to have some sort of scheme for him, but I just think Brunson just just demolishes them. It's a supporting cast. Can OG play well? Can DiVincenzo keep it up? Can Josh Hart keep it up? We will see, but I don't see the Bucks making it very far. If they do make it to the conference finals, they're going to get picked apart by the Celtics. And speaking of the conference finals... In the East, the Celtics will win this series in five games. It's a nice run for the Knicks. It will be very cool to see the Knicks make it all the way to the conference finals, especially without Randall. Um, but the Celtics team is built and ready to beat everyone and anyone, no matter what. Like I just said, they can match up with every... There is not one team I can think of in this league that has that can match up with the Celtics or has the advantage over the Celtics. They have probably, if not the best defensive point guard in the league in Holiday, one of the, be the best role player in the league currently in Derek White, who is also an all-defensive player, can get you 20 a game. Jalen Brown, who can get you 25 a game if necessary, is also an all-defensive um, player. Tatum, who's an MVP candidate. And Porzingis, who can get you 27 and 3 blocks if you really wanted to. While having Al Horford off the bench, who can get you plenty of timely buckets and defensive stops. Peyton Pritchard, who's a great shooter. Sam Hauser, who's a great shooter. This team is just built. It's just built for a championship this year. And I think it will be a great run for the Knicks. But I do think having two long series against the Sixers and the Bucks, it will get to them. And they will end up losing in 5 to the Celtics. And, of course, that leads us to our NBA Finals, the one that we probably should have got last year. Nuggets, Celtics, the one and two seeds in their respective conferences. And I do, much as it breaks my heart, have the Celtics winning this series in six games. I don't know who can beat this team. If this team cannot win a championship this year, they failed. Making the Finals is not enough for this Celtics team. They cannot settle at just making the finals. They've been there before. They blew a 2 to nothing lead to a team that was not better than them in the Warriors. That Warriors team was not better than them on paper. The Celtics were a better team, and they lost. They should have been there last season. They possibly should have won the championship last season, but they did not. They should have been there in the bubble, but they did not make it. I think they get over the hump this year because if they don't, I think Jalen Brown's out the door. I think Joe Mazzula might be out the door. And I think this team will look very different next season if they don't win the championship. And if they somehow 
make it to the finals or even get knocked out before the finals and they don't make major changes, then I don't, if I'm a Celtics fan, I would lose all hope. I've lost all hope. You've gone all in on this year. All in. You got Drew Holiday. You got Chris Stavis Porzingis. You extended Jalen Brown to a huge contract. Tatum's going to be up for one. You re-signed Holiday. And if you can't, you can't win the championship. Not only are you going to be in cap hell, and you're going to move on, or you're going to be forced to move on from certain players like Brown, you failed. You failed. This is a do-or-die season for the Celtics. You are the unanimous best team in the league. The only 60-win team. I don't even remember the last time we had a 60. I think the Bucks were the last 60-win team in the NBA, and that was a few years ago. You are the unanimous best team in the league. It's time to put your money where your mouth is and finally win a championship. There is no excuse this time. Not one. Unless you suffer an extreme injury like Tatum or Brown going down. Hopefully that doesn't happen. No excuses for the Celtics to not be NBA champions. Anyways, that is my bracket. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. Be sure to subscribe if you are new. GG.